Well, here's a reason to take that evening walk. It can help prevent disability in older adults with arthritis. Researchers from Northwestern University tracked the activity of over 15,000 seniors who had joint pain or stiffness. Those who did one hour of moderate exercise to vigorous exercise a week like walking, we're more likely to maintain their mobility. Now that's actually only about 10 minutes a day, not too bad. A quarter of the seniors who did not exercise had difficulty walking quickly and performing daily tasks. Well, caregiving for a loved one can be overwhelming at times, but if you or someone you know is in this position, there is help out there. Keeping the Spirit Alive is a free conference for people caring with someone with dementia. It takes place this Sunday at Bethel Synagogue in St. Louis Park. And joining me now is Annette Sandler, the Director of Aging Services with the Jewish Family and Children's Service of Minneapolis. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for inviting me. This is such a huge issue. It affects so very many people. And this is a, a service that you're providing, a conference that you're providing, and it's free. And it's free, that's right. So we have um, over 260 people already registered. And caregiving is a 24 seven job. Mm -hmm. And many times it is so thankless um, because you just, there's so much to do. Like there's more work to do than there are hours in the day. But I think what's really important for a person who has Alzheimer's or another kind of dementia is for the caregiver to get as much information as possible about the disease because it is a progressive disease. So if you can learn about what that progressive the trajectory of the disease is going to look like, that's gonna help make the caregiving process a little bit easier. Well, and I love that you have all aspects of caregiving. It's, it's uh, people can come and find out all sorts of different things from doctors, from lawyers, from, you know, how to even take care of yourself. Is that right? As that's the caregiver. That's right. Um, Self-care for the caregiver is really important because people have to take care of themselves in order for them to take mm -hmm. care of somebody else. So if you get on an airplane, they always say, put on your own oxygen mask first. Well, there's a good reason for that because if you're not well rested and cared for yourself, it's gonna be really hard to continue to care for somebody with this constant um, sort of in your face disease as it can be with some people. So we have lawyers that will be there to help you talk about planning for your future. We have physicians that will be there that will talk about end of life care, how to make decisions when those decisions can be really tough. Yeah. When's the right time to move? When should someone stay in their own home? And I think that just having those resources available is something that helps caregivers to be able to manage through this disease. Right, you know, it's tough when you have to make those very tough decisions on your own. So if you can have some sort of resource, if you can have someone to talk it over with, I think that's absolutely helpful. I think yeah. it's really very helpful. I think, you know, the other thing is that you know, your brain is like one of your vital organs. Mm -hmm. When you go to get your vital signs, your blood pressure, your heart rate, all those things checked, what they don't often check is, how's your brain working? Mm -hmm. So only 16% of people over the age of 65 get a brain test when they go to their doctor, but it should really be part of their regular annual physical, because if somebody doesn't get that diagnosis early, they don't get to help participate in their own plan of care then everything is just gonna be done for them and to right. them. And that's really not what we want. That's not the dignity that people deserve as they're aging. Right, well, thank you for putting this on. It is a very important topic. It is, again, free. You can uh, sign up online or you can walk in on Sunday. Details on the conference for caregivers can be found on our website at care11.com.